Hello everyone, welcome to the Common Sense Academy. What I have for you today is a video of a man who is pulled over in the state of Colorado for driving with fake plates, or as the officer says, fictitious plates. This gentleman then goes through uh, a whole bunch of sovereign citizen auditor BS, and then he speeds away from the police officer, putting himself, the officer, and the general public at risk. Is he a sovereign citizen? Is he an auditor? I don't know. He's a little bit of both. What we're going to do is we're going to watch this video. I'm going to give analysis at the end. At the end of my analysis, I'm going to read off a list of the possible crimes that this guy racked up for himself when he could have just had a five-minute traffic stop. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Common Sense Academy. My name's Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. I'm the host of this show. We take a look at sovereign citizens, First Amendment auditors, and other people acting unintelligently with law enforcement or in court. If you like my channel, please do me a favor, subscribe. I get way more views than I do subscribers. Some of my videos, I get four or five times the amount of views that I have subscribers. I'd like to get to 10,000 subscribers. A free way to support this show is to subscribe. This show will always remain free. Help me out and subscribe. Also, I have an email list. Sign up for my email list. You'll get a free PDF on the history and examination of the Sovereign Citizen Movement. Movement. Finally, we're going to do a same time sip here where we have a sip of a drink. My favorite beverage is coffee. And then we're going to watch the video. The coffee that I'm hawking to you today is Black Rifle coffee. The reason I'm asking you to buy Black Rifle is because this is the coffee that I drink. It tastes delicious. It's veteran owned and a portion of their profits go to veterans causes. So the coffee's a little expensive, but it's worth it. Uh, it tastes delicious. You're also giving money to veterans causes. I do get a small percentage of each, sa each sale as well. I'm a veteran. This helps me uh, free up time to make this show. So you can think of uh, a purchase as supporting veterans, supporting veteran causes, and supporting this show. Plus, you get a great coffee out of it. So everyone, raise your cup, raise your drink in the air. Look at this mug. Check that mug out. Oh yeah, look at that bad boy. Um, raise your cup in the air. Uh, cheers. It tastes better when we sip together. Same time sip. Delicious. Now, let's watch this video. Yeah, here you go, sir. Okay. And if, you know, if everything checks out, we don't have a problem. There you go, my friend. What about your driver's license? Um, am I am I being charged of a crime or anything? Am I committed a crime? Yes, I have reasonable suspicion that you've committed a crime, and therefore you are required to identify yourself. What What crime? What crime have I committed? This is on Facebook. Right now, fictitious plates. The plates attached to this vehicle are not registered. Can you read that? Vehicle. Can you read that and then and then talk to me, please? Okay. Well, I need your driver's license. Okay. Okay, I'll give it to you. Can you? Can you? Okay. okay. I need your driver's license, and we'll figure everything out. Yes, sir. Just read that before you violate my rights, please. Okay, I need your driver's license. Please read that, sir. I have my motor vehicle sale. I have everything. Okay, I got you. I okay. own my car, so I. Okay, I got you. If everything checks out, then we won't have a problem, but I need your driver's license. Yes, sir. I don't have any weapons. I don't have... I'm not dangerous. I got you. Like I say, I haven't, committed, I haven't committed any crimes. Okay. Okay. I'm not... I, I'm and what's your, what's your badge number? 6396. Okay. And so, I will be I will be again, glad to answer... I stopped you because the plates don't match the cars. I will be glad to answer... In Colorado, that constitutes fictitious sir, plates. Sir, I will be glad to answer any questions okay. you have as long as you give me your bond information. That way, if if you harm me in any way, I know how to collect that debt, please. Okay. That's all. Your driver's license. No disrespect, sir. Uh, my information is on there, sir. Okay. I Everything. Need a, I need a photo ID, man. Sir, that's my information. I haven't committed. I haven't. I haven't committed any crime, my friend. Okay. The plates do not match the vehicle. That is fictitious plates. That is against the law. Sir, this car is is registered to a private trust. It's okay. not. It's not used are for. You it's not your driver's license or not. It's not used for comrades. Okay. Are you? Can you call? Can you call your deputy, please? My deputy. Your, your lieutenant or whoever's above you. Your boss. Okay. 
Are you not going to give me your driver's license, man? Can you call your deputy, please? What is the reason? I, I don't feel safe. I feel... I have you have a gun. gun. You have a gun. I don't have any weapons. I don't know. I don't I don't have any guns. I haven't committed any crime. I'm afraid of you okay. because you have a gun, and I don't know who you are. Okay. Well, I'm Officer Holmes with the Colorado Springs Police Department. Yes, sir. I stopped you because the plates don't match the vehicle. Okay. All right. Can I please see your driver's license? Can you please read that information that I just presented to you? Okay. That's gonna, that, that reserves all of my constitutional rights right there. I'm not being a... I'm just, I'm just being okay. open to you. you, my friend. That's I need it. your driver's license. Okay, can you read that, please? I need your driver's license. I don't have my ID on me. Can you, you read? Can you can you read now? that? So what's your name? Can you read that, sir? What's your name? What's your name? My name is Officer Helen of the Colorado Springs Police Department. What's your first name? I'm not gonna give you my first name. Please, please, required. please give me your first name. I'll give you my first initial C. No, please give me your first name, please. Man, I'm, I'm begging you, you brother. Give me your ID, brother. I'm begging you, brother. Can you please? Can you please read that? And then I'll talk to you. I need your ID before we're going to do anything else. I will, my friend. I will give it to you if you just read that, That's please. That's not how this works. Please. That's not how can, this can works. Can you have him You're come up? You're not going to identify yourself. Can you have him come up? That's not how this works, man. Please, sir. Are you going to give me your ID or not? Hey, sir. Can you call your lieutenant, please? I don't have any weapons. I don't have any. I'm not dangerous. Yes, sir. Okay. I don't have any weapons or anything. Sure. I just I want you to... I just want you to know I'm not a threat I to you. you. I, just, I need your ID. I'm afraid for my life, sir. Okay. There's nothing to be afraid of, okay? Okay. Are you going to give me your name or not? Can you read that information? That I will read it once I get your name. My name is Brad. Brad. What's your last name, Brad? <sighs> sir, I just want you to read that, please. Okay, go ahead and step out for me. Sir, please. Step pl out. Please don't, don't sir. Roll up the I'm not rolling up the window. Step out. Please don't hurt me, sir. I'm, I'm not going to hurt you. Please don't. You're not identifying your Can you please read that? Step out. I'm, I'm not getting out. Step Can you out. read that? No, step out right now. Please, sir. Don't put it in drive. I'm out. What the fuck are you talking about? We had a bright one here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this individual, sovereign citizen auditor, puts himself, puts the police, and puts the public at risk by speeding off during a traffic stop. Please, please, please never, ever do this. He increased his jail time exponentially by doing something this unintelligent. Um, so right off the bat, uh, the officer and him, you know, are having a little bit of an argument and he's asking, what have I done? What's the crime? Why have I been, why have I been pulled over? And the officer says it's for fictitious plates. Now I didn't check the Colorado statute, but I'm sure that it's in there. You have to have, listen, every license plate has to be specifically issued by the state that you are, your vehicle is registered in. Okay. That license plate is going to have certain patterns and even stickers on it so that, that the officer law enforcement can verify that it's real. It appears that this officer made this stop because I am, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing here, but I think it's a pretty strong guess. This guy had some sort of made up plate, perhaps one of the sovereign citizen plates that we see. The officer ran the plate through his system and saw that that plate was not registered to that vehicle. Remember, it's 2020, friends. Okay, police officers can run your information instantly on, uh, on the computer deck that they have inside of their vehicle. So he ran this plate, pulled this guy over. All right, and this guy's saying that using, you know, um, I'm not going to call it logic, I'm going to call it illogic, uh, standard sovereign citizen illogic by saying, uh, well, I didn't do, I didn't commit a crime, I didn't do anything wrong, you had no reason to pull me over, he'd probably get into the victim stuff, truth of the matter is, 
uh, drive, you know, traffic laws are laws. They apply whether there's a victim or not. Also, some codes in states differentiate between traffic laws and criminal laws, but I'm here to tell you there's no real differentiation. Sometimes, sometimes traffic violations can end up in jail time. Okay, and for a lot of tests, um, that's the most important factor, not whether it's criminal or civil um, or, or, or traffic, okay? Traffic is usually going to fall somewhere into the quasi-criminal territory, all right? Um, this guy gives him this piece of paper and keeps telling the officer, read the piece of paper. He says, my constitutional rights are on this piece of paper, um, he asks him for his badge number. He wants his bond information. He says, officer, I want your bond information. In case I'm harmed, I know where to go. Well, yeah, it's true. All police stations are bonded. They all have insurance, okay, that will cover them in the event that they get sued by someone for a violation of their civil rights. Here's the thing. You don't need to know that information in advance. If you know the, the department, the officer who stopped you, okay, and he asked for his badge number, the officer gave his last name. I don't think he gave the badge number. All you really need is the department. I mean, unless the department's going to lie and try to say that the stop never happened, um, you're almost always going to be able to find out who the individual involved was from the department themselves. And then you hire an attorney and you sue the department. And if you have a case and you win, you'll get your money. You really don't need to know that in advance. Okay. Um, he then gets into some, he gets into the, I mean, this guy, he pulled a lot of the tricks out, okay? He gets into, uh, I'm not driving for commercial, this, this vehicle isn't used for commerce, claims it's all on this piece of, piece of paper. You know, one of these fake printed up license plates off of the internet. Then he keeps telling this officer to go get a deputy, get his deputy, then he says his lieutenant, look, deputies are generally the lowest ranking, whether it's in a police department or a sheriff, okay? Get, get the very least, get your sovereign citizen auditor talk, right? And ask for his supervisor. That's how you got to do it. Ask for his supervisor. Now, this guy says he has no ID on him and he doesn't want to give his name. I've covered this in past videos, okay? But certain states, and I researched it, Colorado has a stop and ID law, which means if the police have reasonable suspicion, and reasonable suspicion is some sort of facts they can rely on to show that you either committed a crime or we're going to commit a crime, okay? Or we're in the act of committing a crime. Past, future, present, okay? Here, the fictitious plates, that's a crime. He's driving a vehicle. The plates aren't properly registered in a vehicle. That gives him reasonable suspicion to make the stop and also to ask for ID. In stop and identify states, by statute, if the officer has reasonable suspicion and asks you for identification, you have to give it to him. Now, I looked into these laws before. You don't always have to produce a physical ID, but at the very least, you have to give your name. You have to give a first and last name. If you don't, you're actually violating the law. Now, some people may say that's an encroachment of privacy. A lot of states don't actually have this law. Um, and there's, there's something to be said there for the encroachment of privacy. But again, they can only ask and enforce under that law if there's reasonable suspicion that you committed a crime. It does give a lot of power to law enforcement, okay? I live in Pennsylvania. We don't have that law. I like it, all right? But these laws have been held constitutional. And so when this guy's refusing to identify himself, he's breaking another law. So fictitious plates, now he's violating the stop and identify law because he won't give his name or any ID. Um, additionally, he was likely being detained. We didn't have, this guy didn't pull out all the stops here. Am I being detained? Blah, blah, blah. He likely is being detained. The officer's conducting an investigation and questioning in uh, relation to those stops. So the fact that he's detained triggers, um, triggers something else here. So we see this guy start to give lip to the officer, et cetera, et cetera, puts his window up, and then he speeds away. Boy, oh boy, talk about digging your hole, okay? Talk about digging your hole. This guy dug his own hole. If you're detained and then you flee, after that, you can be charged with fleeing and eluding, okay? Not only by driving away does he put himself, the public, and the officer at risk, okay? He's fleeing and eluding. He, frankly, is lucky, he's lucky he didn't get shot. Shot. I mean, if you almost run an officer over and they, they and they fire at you, okay, they're probably going to be okay to do that, okay? Because if you drive a vehicle at an officer, well, we'll get to that in a second. 
Um, I'm going to link, this is for a Van Bayon video. I'm going to link to Van Bayon in this description. Um, but just Van Bayon said that after he got pulled over in the original video after the stop, he said uh, that there was no chase because he never contracted with them. More of the sovereign citizen BS. It just keeps spewing out. I mean, this guy, you know, he had a lot of tricks in his bag. Unfortunately, none of them work. So what's he been charged with? He can be charged with fictitious plates. He can be charged with stop and identify. He can probably be charged with some sort of registration offense. He can be charged with fleeing and eluding, okay, an officer because he was being detained and then he attempted to escape, okay, fleeing and eluding um, and or escape, depending. Those are two separate laws, okay. He could be charged with both of them. Recklessly endangering another person because the officer's there engaging with him and then he speeds away. That puts the officer at risk of getting hit by the car. In addition, he could be charged with simple assault and or aggravated assault because when you speed by someone who's that close to a vehicle, that could be uh, interpreted as a an attempted assault by a judge or a jury. So this guy was probably looking at a fine um, for his traffic violations. Then he drives away. Now he's facing jail time on an aggravated assault, simple assault, recklessly endangering, fleeing and eluding. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to say except for the fact that this guy lacked any common sense at all. Thank you very much for tuning in to Common Sense Academy today. Another day, another sovereign citizen, another First Amendment auditor, auditor, someone doing something dumb or crazy. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. It'll give me a merchandise shelf and additional... Um, additional abilities within YouTube. Also, try your hand at some Black Rifle while you are uh, quarantined from coronavirus. This stuff will help you not go crazy while we're waiting for the virus to blow over. Thank you very much. Common Sense out.